Wow. Oh, wow. It really shows up. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying and reviewing inexpensive, affordable makeup from Aliexpress, Amazon, drugstore, dollar store, you name it. I'll be a guinea pig and I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the palette, the highlighter palette, and the lipstick. And this is my first go at BH Cosmetics. We're going to be applying this on my face and we'll see what happens. I'm very excited. If you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Leave me a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let's get right into this video. So I got these items from BH Cosmetics about November, December. I think it was Black Friday sale. Yes, I waited that long, like about two months, and now I'm ready to make a video. <laughs> uh, some other things came up and uh, they just were more important in the moment. And now I just couldn't wait to get my hands on that. So this was on major sale and this is Color Festival. A 20 color shadow palette. It looks like this. The packaging is just beautiful. It just speaks to me. I saw the colors and it was gorgeous. So it has a mirror. It's kind of a small mirror, but it doesn't matter. I usually never even use palette mirrors. I just like like hand mirror. So for me, it's not important. So it has a lot of shades. It's 20, so it has a lot of shimmers. That's the only thing. I wish I had more mattes, but it's beautiful. And then I got this highlighter palette. And this one has six colors. So let me see my receipts. So on sale, this was $5.40. And this was $6. So for $6, 20 colors, this is like dirt cheap. It's like AliExpress cheap. So this has a lot of different colors that don't really suit like any skin tone like blue and green but the pants are huge so i wanted to try it i was really curious so you're gonna see i'm using it now it works <laughs> so and also i got this lipstick i just wanted to try it. A bh cosmetics product and i got cashmere cream uh kind of a doe food applicator lipstick so we're going to be trying that as well. And this was in color Thirsty. And this was $2.40 on sale. So everything extremely cheap. So I'm going to show you swatches first. So this one, upper row, uh, two first, three rows actually. It, it They fit on one side and the last row on the other side. <clears throat> I just love the names. Disco, EDM, Banger, <laughs> Chick, and Center Stage. It, they just scream my name. I love to be Center Stage. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, disco, that's real bright. That's my outer corner highlight, inner corner highlight, and a brow bone. EDM. I love EDM music, by the way. So that speaks my name, okay? <laughs> Banger, I keep laughing. It's a dirty banger. I've got banger on my eyeballs. <laughs> then it got chick and it got center stage, which is like a greenish shimmer. Then it got experience, fringe. This one's fringe. It got groove. It got candy. And it got rave. Rave is like a a purple like a shimmer metallic and that's what they are on the palette this row so the first row and the second row and the third row is hollow like this I'm gonna read you the names because I'm getting confused myself so hollow is a blue I can't wait to dip into that one denim 
Oh my God, look at that blue. I can't wait. The other thing about this blue, it's not matte and it's not really uh, shimmer or metallic. It's like it has a little bit of texture, shimmer in it, but I think it could pass to the matte. Then I got sequins, I got it on my eyelids, pop. I've got that on my eyelids and VIP. And I got it a little bit out of corner. And VIP is like a deep purple uh, shimmer metallic. And the last is this. And we got the last here. This is DJ. This is Queen. Hello, Queens. How you doing? <laughs> Haze. That's green, the lime green. Can't wait to try that. Electronic. And I got the Rage, which is like a greenish. Kind of, it's almost like a dual chrome. It's really pretty. So that's all of them. One two, three, and four. Hey, excuse my voice, I'm still coughing, I'm so stuffed. It's a real struggle to speak. <laughs> so, I love this. Is This I would recommend to buy. The only, again, I said it again and again, I wish these, the deep tones were bad, so you can really build it up the outer corner. Other than that, it's really, really pretty. And for the price point, what I got it for was amazing. So let me really quickly uh, swatch the highlighter palette. The first three, one, two, and three. So let's try them here. They kind of didn't swatch that well, but when I tried one of them on my face, it was like way too bright. I'm just not very good at swatches, I guess. <laughs> and then the other three that's more wearable, this one kind of could be a highlight for deeper skin tone, and this one I'm wearing now. So I'm gonna do the last three. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna put them here. So I'm wearing this one on me, I think. I think that's the one, yeah. That one didn't come out good. Yeah, the swatches for some reason are not really, really uh, visible. But when I put it on my face, it was too much. As you can see from the next uh, clip, it, it is blinding. It's like real blinding. <laughs> so uh, that's a look we're creating. You can uh, fast forward some places if you don't want to watch blending. I'm going to try to edit it <laughs> so nobody's bored. And we're going to get into the tutorial and the final look at the end. So this is a look I created and we're going to be recreating this look on this eyeball as usual. Um, i kind of been doing a lot of cool tone looks lately. So I want to do something pink. I really was feeling the pinks here. So I'm going to start with sequins here and pop that into our corner. Make sure I have no creases. I'm using e.l.f. concealer as the base and I have been using concealers. I'm thinking about trying the real eyeshadow base but I like it to be really light. So I'm using this uh, regular camo conceal in light peach because it's too drying for my under eyes, but for the base, it's just perfect. So let's put that in. You see on that kind of light concealer, it the color really shows up. It applied easily, it was bright, so no problems with that. So next we're going into the groove. Uh, actually, I did pop, excuse me. Forgot which color I used. So I did this one, and this color is like a violet uh, pink. It's so pretty, kind of matches my top, so <laughs> I was feeling that color. I really like those kind of tones, cool pinks. So I'm gonna use another kind of fluffier brush, and this is one of the boxy charm brushes, Moda Pro. So, see how pretty that color is? Put that right above the bright 
pink and blend it into the brow bone. That light tone almost has kind of a little bit of shimmer. Uh, I wish it was completely matte, but it doesn't really bother me, but I, would, I wish it was really, really matte. Other than that, it's bland so easily. It looks beautiful. So now I'm going to use this flat brush, and this came in one of the box, charm boxes. It's a luxe brush, and it's great for cutting crease. I'm just going to cut half crease, just like I did here, using the same concealer, Elf Kama concealer. That's not the hydrating one. I like hydrating one for the under eyes, but this is dry and it's not gonna crease, so I like this for uh, base. I kind of like to place it for the cut crease and then look up and see where the line is and then go above that. Just go a little bit bigger. So cut crease done and I wanted to go with a pink theme and just put all over uh, pink all over my upper lid so it was between this candy and a uh, banger what a name banger really <laughs> that sounds dirty <laughs> so candy looks pink but on my eyelid it kind of looks orange almost so I mix them together kind of tap in between this and this and created more of a real pink shade so flat brush to pack and this is just Aliexpress cheap brush so I go in between two tones and just pack it on so I'm kind of going with a lighter tone more because I like the lighter pink a little better it's really bright it's bright it pops and then I'm going to go into the light pop color, the light matte pink, and blend it in with the shimmer, the matte and the shimmer together. Going back to the sequence to deepen up the brighter pink. This is all about going between all colors. Make sure you don't lose the intensity of each color. I wish this palette had more mattes. When I was buying it, I bought it when it was on sale. And I like the colors and I kind of just put it in my cart. But when you look at it, these are dark tones and these all shimmers, the metallics. And kind of like what I'm gonna do with this. I wish this purple and like a, another deeper purple, they're mattes. They would be perfect for outer corner, but can't use them. So I'm gonna go into the DJ, and it's like a soft, uh, warm brown, and just put it just a little bit, tap it in there, just to brighten up, to deepen the outer corner. And for that, we'll use smaller brush. It's another uh, Moda brush. I don't want to go too much into this brown because I don't want this pink look go uh, turn to brown and of course going back into the sequin the bright pink so yeah I think I'm happy with how the blending all of this color is blending very well it's a real nice palette my first try at BH cosmetics and I like it nice uh, for the low lash line I had different ideas there's so many cool tones, I just wanted to dip into something different. So I decided to go with electronic, this. Kind of a cooler light green tone. And go into Rage and mix it with Rage on the outer, outer corner. So just using a little bit, uh, that's an elf brush, just very cheap. It's kind of flat and angled, good for lining. So I'm going to go into a light color first. See, 
that's a really pretty combination. I like this green tone, uh, the cool green and the pink. And then I'm lazy, so I'm dipping the same brush <laughs> into the rage, which is like a darker blue. And outer corner, kind of playing that and VIP, the color above, which is like a darker purple. So I'm going to dip into that as well, just to kind of deepen up the outer corner. By the way, in case you're wondering, I forgot that I bought lipstick from them and I put lipstick on already and I really like the This is Lip Gloss from Makeup Revolution so I have to remove that and try BH Cosmetics next. <sighs> Memory. That's what happens when you buy something three months ago and never use it. I forgot what I bought. So I'm happy with this blend. It's really blending super easy. I'm really happy with the result. So this is it, the initial blend. I'm going to go off camera and do the liner and lashes. And we're going to be trying the highlights and this lipstick. So I'm going to remove my lips now and do another lipstick later. <laughs> I'll be back. So the makeup is done and I forgot to mention I did my brow bone highlight and my inner corner with Disco. And this is probably the prettiest inner corner and brow bone highlight I've had so far. I don't know, maybe I have some good ones too, but this is like out of the new ones that I have. This is like the light tone, just the perfect light tone for the fair skin or light skin. It really shows up. So let me bring you in. It really, really shows up. I like this highlighter. I mean, the tone, it's perfect for inner corner, perfect for brow bone if you're pale. It's gonna work. So right now I only have bronze and contour on and we're going to be testing this highlight palette. So when it came in, it cracked a little bit. So as you can see, this one is a little cracked. I didn't complain because you just push it in. It's not a big deal. But um, this might be actually a blush, but it's like a real highlighted brush. But I think I wanna give it a try. The blue one is weird, the green one is weird, <laughs> but I could use that as eyeshadow topper, I guess. But I mean, for the price, for the five bucks, getting all of this, and they're huge. I mean, look at the size of these pants, they're huge. So I kind of want to go for the pink to go with my whole look. So I want to try this illusion. I was going to try the Blendiful with it, but I want to try my usual method before the Blendiful. I was always using brush, so I got a clean brush, and we're going to dip into Illusion. Let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. It really shows up. Dang. It might be a little bit too bright for me. Look. I think kind of too pale because when I look at the sideways it gives me like a, a white cast so I don't know maybe I should go to on point but that might be too bright so we'll see wow okay I'll have to tone this down because this is really really bright <laughs> it's crazy this is insane highlight I mean lately I've been trying some highlights that all of them kind of crazy looking but this is like a whole new level it's a glass surface <laughs> I'm not mad at it but it's like even for me it's a little insane so let me try to tap into can you imagine the strobe this is like pure white if I only tried this this would be insane, but for some pale people, this would probably would be a good one. Uh, let me try to go into Electra and put it on top. I just for the heck of it, why not? I already look crazy, might as well. <laughs> so Electra is like a gold, gold, white, I don't know. So let's see. Oh, that was a mistake. Now that really looks crazy, like really, really crazy. I don't think I would come out of the house looking like this. <laughs> as much as I like highlighter, this is not real. <laughs> I'm just laughing because of that. It looks insane. But I mean, if it go lightly, I guess, if I manage to go lightly, 
it would work. Let me try this on point uh, as a blush, but I don't know. It seems to be very intense. Yeah, I think uh, it's like a real highlighted brush, blush. So I think I'm gonna use my own blush. This is from uh, BoxyCharm, and this is Wonder Beauty uh, blush and bronzer. So I'm gonna just dip into this, just to tone it down. And then I'll have to powder myself down because this is looking way insane. And I'm a very extra person. A curl, a curl. Even for me, this is way too much highlight. Uh -uh. So let me just take some powder, tone it down, I'll be back. Okay, just trying to save this. I toned it down with powder a little bit because that was intense. I think it's also kind of too light of a color for me, but overall, it's a nice highlighter. And just in the right amount, it's okay. So now we're going to try lipstick. See, I forgot about its existence because I ordered it so long ago. And the lipstick... It's 240 and this is cashmere green comfort lipstick so let's see open this up I haven't opened it yet okay I had opening issues as usual so now we got it out it looks like this it looks like it's gonna have no food applicator it's cashmere green I wonder what it means it's a it's not a liquid lipstick is it it doesn't say so so we'll see I'm gonna try it without the liner just to see its true color and then I'm gonna add liner if necessary so this is the color thirsty and yep yeah, doe foot applicator I can't smell anything but I'm stuffed I can't smell anything anyway yeah I don't think it's a liquid lipstick consistency I, th I think it's a more like a very soft velvety lipstick so here's the result let me zoom in. I don't know how I feel about the lipstick. It's a little patchy. So what I do like about it is color. The color is real pretty. I like the texture. It's very soft. It's not a liquid lipstick. It's more of like a kind of a semi-matte but very soft. But the problem is it applies patchy and it's almost like see-through. And then you try to build it up and it kind of looks still patchy. When I'm looking close, it doesn't look that great. So, this is like, okay, item. But the palette is real nice. And the highlight uh, palette is real nice too. I have to just learn how to go easy on it. And I bet the other colors I can really use as eyeshadows, like these would be real pretty because they're outstandingly bright. <laughs> so, all of these colors are real nice. So for my first experience with BH Cosmetics, although I heard a lot of good things, especially about their uh, eyeshadow palettes, uh, I think it's mostly positive. I like this palette. Uh, the quality is there. The blendability is great. It blends easy. It is bright. It's pigmented. It's not patchy at all. Not even brown. Uh, like none of these colors are patchy. The only thing I wish that they had more of a dark mats to deepen the outer corner because as shimmers, they have no mats to support them. So when you do a look with this, like what are you gonna do with the rest of the look? I mean, there's no dark mats to kind of support this shimmers, you know what I mean? Excuse me, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> so uh, would I recommend buying it? Mm, yes or no? It was cheap for $6.50 when it was on sale. It was worth it because like this color, I love it. These pink tones, this lime, like all of these colors are really pretty denim. I could use this again and again. Uh, for these, I could use them with other palettes probably, but with this palette, I kind of don't see it. But that's the only complaint. It's really pretty packaging, I love that. And the highlight palette, uh, if you have a deeper tone, you could probably use this, the one that cracked. <laughs> I don't know who could use blue. I mean, for some extreme looks, probably. Uh, or for the eyeshadows. This is a really pretty highlight, but you have to be really careful because it's really light and it's really bright. So I think they're so opaque that they kind of like paint. So it looks pretty, 
but you have to go light on them. That's my only complaint. And I can't believe I'm complaining that the highlight is way too blinding. <laughs> but overall, yeah, I like this. It's nice. Uh, I was buying it, it was, I think it was five bucks, so that was a good deal. I'm not sure what it goes for now. Uh, this I would probably pass. I mean, it's not bad, it's not good, it's just there. I mean, it's nothing spe spectacular. It's a pretty color, but that's about it. Uh, so this is the end of this video. Let me know, guys, what you think. I kind of like this look. Yeah, I'm always into, I'm always into eyeshadows. I always try to make everything work, whether it's bad or good. But if it's bad, I'm going to tell you. And I like the quality. It's really nice. So leave me a comment below. Uh, what do you think about the brand? Do you own any BH Cosmetic things? Uh, the palettes are really inexpensive, even without sale. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Leave me a comment below. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!